This weather always makes me think of laying on the driveway and then realizing I need to peel myself off of this and go to work right now. Good morning. This is the day after Oliver's surgery. He had a cyst type of thing on his back end. You can kind of see where it's shaved back here. Um, he had surgery yesterday and he did pretty well overnight and now he's having a little break from his cone because I'm down here watching him and making sure he doesn't lick and he's just taking a nap. <gasps> yeah, buddy. Kicking, kicking. Yeah, buddy. Hi. Did you see me? Hi. The one he's loving the most this morning and talking to the most is this one. This one up here. Elijah's in a swing for a few minutes. Delightful. Ah. Did you need some snugs? Of course I'll give you snugs. You're a sweet boy. You have wrinkles for days. Good morning, guys. I slept in a little this morning. Let's see, it's 8.45, Mary graciously um, took over at like 6.30 with Elijah, and um, yeah, I think I needed a couple more hours of sleep, so feeling much more rested. The vet's office called and checked on Ali, and we said he's doing good. Oh, that's a good boy. Why a good boy? <laughs> it is so nice out here. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but it is nice. Elijah's socks didn't match his outfit, so I put on his tiny Air Force Ones. <laughs> <laughs> Logical. Mm -hmm. When I was 15 years old, I started working at a local Italian ice place. And it was March when I got the job, I believe. February or March, I think they opened in March. And I, this weather with the sun reminds me of days when I was done my schoolwork 
and I went outside and I put a beach towel on the driveway and I was like laying in the sun and the sun and the spring air and then realizing I need to peel myself off of this and go to work right now and like put on my work clothes and um, although the work clothes for Rita's, the Italian ice place, I'm guessing I had a polo. I think I had like a... So like jeans and a polo? It wasn't even jeans because I remember wearing shorts. Okay. Um, but it was like easy, whatever, you know, but it was better than when I worked at Chick-fil-A. I, I worked there in the heat of the summer and I remember putting on those nylon black high-waisted pants in the heat in the back of my minivan <laughs> and just being like feeling imprisoned by my own clothing <laughs> like I have to wear these oppressive black pants <laughs> but uh yeah so this weather always makes me think of laying on the driveway and wishing that I could lay there forever and now here I am is it the it look like the sun is hot but the air is still a little cool yeah I think so, so. it's like it feels hot in the sun yeah, I it, love this weather. Yeah, and I think it's like the first good sunshine yeah. after the winter. It just feels so life-giving. And yes, all three of us are in the uh, in the hammock. Peter's using his hat to give Elijah some shade. This is a sweet moment. We've we have hammocked our whole marriage. Yep. In the this exact hammock. Yep. And we have a yellow one. And we have adventured with them all over the U.S. We've traveled a ton of places and it used to be like the mission to find two hammocking trees. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should start that again. We would like be driving down the road and be like, oh, there's a good hammock spot. <laughs> uh, like in somebody's yard? Mm. Or where? No, like, I feel like, like a, a park or something. Yeah. Or even like, you know, when you're on a road trip and you stop at the side of the road, rest stop. Oh, yeah. And we... it's sometimes the woods. Yeah. Okay, we brought Elijah in to put him down for a nap, but Ollie wanted to stay outside. So I put his helmet on. I call it his helmet. Put his helmet on so he can just lay in the sun because I'm not going to be out here. So I can't watch him for the licking factor. He's been fine. He has not even paid attention to it. So that's good. Good job, buddy. You're getting better. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Ollie was like checking out Harry and he kind of trapped him in his cone. That is so funny. Just some family afternoon exploration. I am working on finishing up the plant wall. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Yay. It's fun. These um, stone crop sedum kind of succulent things are pretty awesome because I can just kind of like separate them out and put them in different planters for the wall and we got the pansies hopefully they'll fill in those uh metal planters and it's nice that our co the color of our wall is like this rustic wood stain because these chains are all rusty <laughs> but it blends in so you know it works. I just had a friend from church bring her baby over and we sat on the back deck and just, it was very fun. It still feels like I'm like living a dream. I'm like, how is this possible? I'm on my back deck with my friend and her baby and I have a baby. What? Um, yes. So we are going to go take stuff to the post office. Peter filled the orders while I was with my friend and um we are gonna stop at the grocery store or do you think we should do sam's yeah we is can go there aldi yeah. buy sam's um 
Not exactly, but we can definitely do both. Um, I feel like I need to make a mental list of what we need or else I'm going to get there and I'm going to be like, I don't know. But I also need to eat. I realized last night we're running low on the food in the grocery or in the uh, fridge. I ended up having cream cheese, expired cream cheese, and pretzel rods. Cool, 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 it actually cool. tasted really good. So, that but good. that being said, I don't really have much to whip up. Do you want to pick something up? Um, yeah, I think I think I'll need to. And um, I need to. So, do we need milk? Uh, we have like. Half a gallon. We do need half and half. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess we could get a gallon. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna. Ollie, you need to go better for Make bus? sort of a list. Ollie's still doing so good, and I'm really, really glad. His back end was really red last night, right after the surgery, and it's doing so good. Looks amazing. It's really good. Okay, milk, half and half, other stuff. I think it's probably gonna happen that I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna say, I don't know what we need. Well, apparently we need cream cheese that's not expired. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I know a few things. I need onions, carrots, and celery, and potatoes. And I do not want to buy Sam's Club size bags of all of those. So we will definitely need to go to another grocery store as well. And at Sam's Club, I'm going to get those like smoothie bowls. So good. Acai bowls, whatever. Those are super helpful for me. I love them. <laughs> what is actually happening? I got a crick in my neck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Elijah was like turning his head, like trying to like turn it into my face. So I was like <laughs> turning my neck so that he didn't turn into my face. And I got a crick in my neck. <laughs> Is it still there? Yeah. Oh no. Ouch. Do you think you pulled a muscle? Maybe. The neck muscle? Yeah. Oh dear. Wow. We we just got back from the grocery store. Mm. And we're all three in here. <laughs> Saving my life. How's that neck? Uh, it's it's better now. It's better? I mean, it hurts, but like, oh, yeah, it's no. like, yeah, I don't know, maybe it was like a pool muscle. That was a funny little, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying your pain is funny, but we were, he was, was laughing funny. hysterically. <laughs> Speaking of pain, uh, <laughs> some stuff in the trunk jumped out at me mm -hmm. and apparently like broke my fingernail and it's like bleeding and then I go in the bathroom to wash my hands and it feels like electricity is zapping through my nail or my finger. But all is well. Shout out to the pharmacist at Sam's Club that gave Mary a band-aid. For free. <laughs>